Okay, there are some spooky, easily missed things in chapter two of Life is Strange Double Exposure in the Leave Nothing Overlooked scene. And there's a seemingly unrelated situation that can happen too that is very mysterious that you may have gotten and not realized was really a choice consequence situation. So I'm gonna show you that too. Oh, we should do a red background for this. Yeah, because it's spooky. It's too bright outside. So this is a scene where Max needs to kind of go back and forth between the living and the dead timeline to get past various barriers along the overlook to look at the crime scene. You start needing to get past the police officer, but before you go in, wait, go into the living timeline and go the other way. And very, very cleverly hidden, very well hidden, there is this weird thing in a tree. <gasps> Now notice before you click on it, hover over it, what it says. Note it, note it. What is it? Wait, I remember that mug. It's the one Sophie drank from during the meteor shower. Now after you look at it, look at how the text changes. It's so, that's not cute, but you know what I mean. I just love, the, I just love that. I mean, come on, how the hell? And then you can take a snapshot. No one's getting that back. And this is a fun one to double expose to, I think. This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should check for more weird shit. Okay, now, woo, continue up the path. Still in the living timeline because you need to go past the officer, right? But look down and you'll see some candy. <gasps> it's Safi's candy, or is it? This looks a lot like Safi's favorite candy, but hers is called Sour Cats, not Heart Stoppers. Also notice, instead of the regular shape of the candy, it looks like, I think, bullets? Ooh. And then now it says it's sinister candy. <laughs> and you can take it. Now, I would have assumed that this would show up in your evidence later, but it doesn't for some reason. Maybe it's supposed to and it's a bug, um, or maybe it's not supposed to at all. <laughs> you decide. <laughs> Any more unexplainable things the universe would like to throw at me today? Now continue up the hill, and this happens no matter what. You're going to start hearing oh, some things. Yeah. Echoes, oh, memories. Hmm? But then uh, don't forget to look up because there is a shady lamppost. Okay, the light being on in the daytime is weird, but it's not weird weird. Still, I've got my eye on you, lamppost. And now it's changed into a regular lamppost. <laughs> I've got my eye on you, lamppost. Okay, continue up the hill, do your thing, switch back and forth. And I'm so mad I missed this on my first playthrough. I was like, what is that buzzing sound? I've left my phone in some bizarre places, but never this bizarre. But then you answer it. Hello? Hello? This is Safi. Yes, this is Safi and Lauren Fayad. Speaking. Shit! <laughs> I know you. No wonder Reggie had a panic attack. So after you answer the phone, now you can go back and you can look at the owl. See something, say something, right? I swear, if these owls could talk. And if you switch to the living timeline, the owl's still there. And when you pulse back and forth, it doesn't do that change of color of being yellow or blue highlights. It's just owl colors. Okay, so now continuing up, you go through your conversation with Gwen. Now this is the part that's really interesting with the choices and consequences because it's possible for you to get this text from Safi. And you have two options that you can respond to. Mm, super spooky. Now I tested this a bunch of times and it is actually not related to any of the spooky details you find kind of, but it's related to a point system around Gwen. I'm calling it Gwen's trust points. If Gwen trusts you enough, she'll say this. In my experience, some mysteries are better left that way. And then you will get Safi's text. If Gwen didn't reveal that there's a mystery at play and is really angry at you and just runs off, it doesn't happen. It never happens. Now, there's various combinations of how to earn Gwen trust points and then what other things that are required in order to get this to happen. 18 tests in and there's still more to test. So I don't want to speak to that yet, but look out for those videos about trust points related to Gwen. So 
but there's more. So then a natural part of the scene is looking at the evidence marker. And when you open it up, there are flowers there in the shape of a body. But even more so, when you pulse back and forth, my finger's doing the pulse button right now. <laughs> when you pulse back and forth, they're still there. They don't change. They don't change colors or anything. Okay. And then even more spooky. I'm just putting it on the screen. Okay. Okay. Thoughts, feelings. Maybe you already saw this. Maybe you already come, came to these conclusions. But let me know which spooky things did you not know about? Which spooky things did you already know about? And um, that's it. Those are my only two questions. <laughs> if there's anything more that you found, let me know that too. I guess I have three questions. That's my third question. Anything else? Okay. <laughs> okay, bye.